this video I'm showing a very small device that I have recently designed and built uh, which is a uh, SWD uh, debug programmer switch uh, it's this one that you see here what it does uh, it simply resolve a problem that I have since a while which is to have the possibility to program different circuits with different MCU uh, using the same uh, debugger programmer which you can see here which is an Atmel ICE why I want to do this but for two very basic reasons which is I often work in parallel in several circuits with different MCU and second important reason uh, an Atmel ICE here costs around 200 euros so if I have to program in parallel in three circuits it means that I have to buy three Atmel ICE which is uh, around 600 euros uh, definitely not a good deal so I've, I've started a little bit thinking about how to easily resolve and I came uh, to this DIY device how does it work? it's very simple uh, there is here an input uh, connected to the Atmel ICE with the five lines of the SWD uh, interface single wire debug interface uh, uh, then you have here the five, the four, sorry, output here because this device can control until four uh, MCU, so four channels, and it's here powered up uh, uh, via uh, USB. This is the PCB that I have uh, developed here. As you can see, I have the five, the four, sorry, momentary button here. I have four LEDs here to track a channel that is uh, uh, activated. You can see it here, like this. I have here the four output line, the input line, and here I have the uh, uh, input for SWD uh, to program the microcontroller that is inside the device. On the other side here, I have a SAMD11 sorry here I have three dual channel multiplexer which are 3 max 399 and here I have a voltage regulator a max 604 CPA which is used to bring the 5 volts of the USB to 3.3 volts which is the voltage needed for uh, the Sunday 11 here. I'm gonna show now the way it works and it's you know fairly straightforward. I have here open a two instance of uh, Atmel Studio with the software for two different circuits that you can see here with a SAM D21 here and a SAM E54 here. In the channel one, this one, there is the SAM D21 and in channel 2 here there is the SAM E54 let's open the programming interface this is for the SAM D21 and this is for the SAM E54 so I switch on channel 1 I apply and I make a read and as you can see it's reading the device signature of the uh, D21 and the power, uh, the voltage uh, of this uh, D21, which is 3.3 volts. So then, if I switch on channel 2, I do the same here. And there you go the device signature of the 54 uh, and, the, and the voltage for the 54. If I try to make another read without switching another read on the tweet on the D21 without switching on channel 1 what is happening is that it, the, the, the system tried to do it but it goes immediately in error as you can see here saying that is incapable to talk uh, to the MCU to the D21 if I switch it then correctly read within device ID okay so it works very fine and as I said uh, uh, I can control with this uh, 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 four channels so four uh, different MCU with the same Atmelized device um, 
I'm very happy because it's a, a, a small and simple device, but it's a, a really resolving a very annoying problem that I have since a while. Should someone be interested in having the, the board design uh, and the software, just let me know and I will make it available. Thank you very much for your attention.